Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Math Lesson. Today we're going to do some revision on the year 10 as well as year 11 right angle triangle. So in this topic we are going to look at trigonometry for year 10 and then year 11 the triangles that we're going to learn is the right angle triangle. Only in year 12 you will learn non right angle triangle. So in a right angle triangle to solve angles or sides there are two possible ways. The first way is called the Pythagoras theorem. The Pythagoras theorem is done when two sides are given and you need to find the third side. No angles are given except the 90 degrees angle. Okay. So the formula to calculate Pythagoras theorem is a squared plus b squared equal to h squared where a and b are the two shorter sides. It could be any one of them and h is the longer side is the hypotenuse and it is always found opposite the 90 degrees angle. The other method we're going to learn is called the trig ratio. You have learned before, it's called the so -kator. Okay, One angle and one side is given and you are going to find another side. So the three formulas is so -kator. So sine theta is opposite over hypotenuse. So SOH is so. Cos theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So CAH, ka. And tangent theta is opposite over adjacent to toa. So so -kator. That's how it comes with so -kator. So let's look at some example now and let's proceed. The first example is find the unknown A here given the two sides 4.9 and 7.3. First, you need to know that two sides are given. You want to find the third side. So this is a Pythagoras theorem. So to know that, so you need to label the sides first. So the two shorter sides could be A and B. It doesn't matter which one is that. So we label 4.9 as A, 7.3 as B. And the longer side opposite 90 degrees is going to hypotenuse. One we have that, we have to use the formula a squared plus b squared equal to h squared. So instead of a, we're going to replace by 4.9 squared. Instead of b, we're going to replace by 7.3 squared. Instead of h, we're going to replace by a squared. That's what you want to find. So put your calculator, that becomes 24.01, that becomes 53.09, add them up together. So a squared is going to be 77.3. Once you have that, to get your a, because it's an a squared to get a, you square the answer, so square root of 77.3, that will give you 8.79, and that will give you a mark in the exam. Not too bad, okay? So we look at the second example of the Pythagoras theorem, okay? So in this case, the triangle is given, so we are given the longest side, 13.3, because it's opposite 90 degrees, so you, have, uh, you label them as H, and the two shorter sides as A and B. Since we're going to find B, we label that as B. So the formula for Pythagoras theorem is A squared plus B squared equal to H squared. So again, your A replaced by 11.5 squared, B remains as B squared, and the longer side is 13.3. Put in your calculator, that becomes 132.25. B remain the same, 13.3 becomes 176.89. So to calculate your B, you need to minus this number on both sides. So B squared equal to 176.89 minus 132.25. That will give you 44.64. But that's not good enough because you want B instead of B squared. To calculate your B, you square that answer. And the answer is 6.68. And that will give you another mark in the exam. Okay, let's proceed. Now we shall look at trig ratio. When you are calculating trig ratio, make sure your calculator is in the uh, degrees mode. If you are in a radian mode, you not get any mark. Your answer will be wrong. So make sure you put the D on top of your calculator or degrees. Okay. So this is given one angle and one side is given. You have to find another side. Again, this is a trig ratio. So you need to first label the question. So this is the angle, the one opposite the side is called the opposite, and the longer side opposite 90 degrees is a hypotenuse. So you need to know there's a sine because it's opposite of hypotenuse, so SOH. So sine theta is opposite of a hypotenuse. Theta is the angle, so theta is 45. Opposite is Y, and hypotenuse is 6. And the next thing you do, you're going to multiply 6 on both sides, so that the 6 will cancel out. So y equal to 6 sine 45, put in your calculator, is 4.24, and that will give you another mark. Okay, okay, let's proceed. Now we're going to do a two mark question. Okay, so the same thing, a side, a angle is given and a side is given, you are going to find another side. So label them again, this is the angle, so this is the adjacent, the one, the meaning of adjacent is next to, so that is adjacent, and that is 90 degrees, so that it has to be the hypotenuse, okay, h. 
So you got A and H, so you have to use the formula cosine. Cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse. So now instead of theta, we replace with the angle 48. Adjacent is replaced by 24 and hypotenuse is X. Now, if x at the bottom, what you do, you're going to swap the two angles and the and the side top to the bottom. So x goes up and cos 48 comes down. So x equal to 24 divided by cos 48. Put in your calculator and the answer is 35.87. That is the two marks in the exam and also a merit in level one. Okay. Now the last thing before we go on to the word problem is finding the angles. Okay. To find the angles, two sides will be given. And we are finding this angle X. So again, we need to label them. This opposite, opposite the angle that's adjacent next to the angle. So because you got O and A, we have to use the tangent data. Tangent data is opposite of adjacent because you have O and A. Once you have done that, we are going to substitute the values. X is the unknown. Tangent X, opposite is given as 21 and adjacent is 15. Put in your calculator, it's 1.4. Okay, this the next thing is only when you're doing angles, you need to do the inverse. So x to get the bring the tangent over, you put a tangent inverse of 1.4, and the answer is 54.5, and that will give you two marks in the exam. Great, good. The last but not least, we are going to do a word problem. Okay, the word problem is similar, but you need to decipher them so you'll be able to draw the triangle. Okay, in this case, they drawn the triangle for you. A safe angle for a ladder is 70, so that is 70 degrees uh, to the horizontal. Calculate the length, so we're going to calculate this length here. If the ladder reach 2.9, so the height is 2.9. So again, we need to label, this angle is given. Uh, opposite is hypotenuse because 90 degrees, that will be hypotenuse. So you need to know O and H become sine. Sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse, okay? So what are we going to do? We're going to substitute the values. Theta is the angle, sine 70. Opposite is going to be 2.9, hypotenuse x. Again, x at the bottom. We're going to swap places with sine 70. So x goes up, sine 70 comes down. So x equal to 2.9 over sine 70. Put in your calculator and the answer is 3.09. So technically, if you know your Pythagoras term, do it when you have two sides given and you want to find the third side, you use Pythagoras theorem, a squared plus b squared equal to h squared, or if one side and one angle is given, you want to find another side, you have to use trig ratio. The sine theta is opposite of hypotenuse also. So, cosine theta is adjacent over hypotenuse, ka, and tangent theta is opposite over adjacent is the toa. So, so ka toa is the trig ratio. So, hopefully you got this under control and you should be able to ace this question. Keep practicing and you should be able to get good marks in the exam. Cheers everyone and have a good day.